to home exercises after a total hip replacement. Do each exercise three times a day around breakfast, lunch, and supper time. Start with 20 reps on the first day and increase by five reps as you feel comfortable. Ankle pumps. Pump your feet up and down in order to improve circulation and blood flow to your legs. Heel slides. Line your back with your legs straight. Slide your heel up to your buttocks. Return to the start position. Repeat with the other leg. Supine side leg. Lie on your back on a firm surface with your legs together. Move your leg out to the side, keeping your knees straight. Return to the start position. Short arc. Line your back with the involved knee bent to 45 degrees, supported by a pillow or rolled up towel as shown. Straighten your leg at the knee. Return to the start position. Straight leg raise. Lie flat on your back. Raise your leg to 45 degrees, making sure to keep it straight. Return it to starting position. If this is too challenging, bend your uninvolved knee and raise the straight leg to thigh level of the bent leg. Return to the starting position. Standing one leg knee bend. Stand. Bend your involved leg towards your hip through the full range. Return to starting position. Make sure not to bend at the hips. Long arc. Sit with your involved leg bent to 90 degrees. Straighten your leg at the knee. Return to start position. Getting into a car. Ensure that you are level with the car to start with. Position yourself sideways onto the car with the back of your legs against the sill. Reach for the back of the seat with your left hand and the seat base with your right hand. Put your operated leg out in front of you with the knee straight and lower yourself onto the edge of the seat. It helps if you lean back slightly. Using your unoperated leg and your hands, push yourself backwards onto the driver's seat, keeping the operated leg straight in front. Leaning backwards and pivoting on your bottom, slide your legs into the car. Be careful and do not rush. Getting out of the car. Making sure to keep your operated leg straight. Pivot until you are facing out of the door of the car. Slowly move yourself forward using the help of the seat rest and the back of the seat. Lift yourself out of the car, making sure not to flex at your hips. Going upstairs. Going upstairs, place your unoperated leg first, followed by the operated leg and finally the sticks or crutches. Use the banister with your free hand if it's possible. Going downstairs. Going downstairs, place your sticks or crutches first, followed by the operated leg and lastly the unoperated leg. Sitting onto a chair without arms. Position yourself sideways onto the chair with the back of your legs touching its side. Support yourself with one hand on the back of the chair, placing your operated leg out in front of you. Keeping the knee as straight as possible and reach with the other hand for the seat of the chair. Lower yourself into the seated position. With both hands on the seat of the chair, pivot on your bottom, keeping the leg straight out in front until you are facing forwards. Adjust yourself into a comfortable position. Getting out of a chair. Straighten your operated leg and slowly swivel until you are facing the other side of the chair. Place one hand onto the back of the chair and another onto the seat and slowly lift yourself upwards. Do not lean forward at the waist or attempt to tie your shoelaces by leaning forwards. Bending. Do not bend on your operated leg excessively. 
Instead, hold onto something solid, such as a table, window ledge, or work surface, and slide your operated leg out behind, keeping it straight. You can then go down, bending the knee of the unoperated leg. Do not twist the operated leg. The hip is put at risk if it's turned too far. Getting into bed. Place your hands on either side of you onto the bed and slowly lower yourself into a seated position. Slowly pivot, lifting your unoperated leg onto the bed, followed by your operated leg. Slowly lower yourself down. Getting out of bed. Sit up in bed on your forearms and lift your legs out one at a time, pivoting your bottom as you do so. Keep the knee of your operated leg straight. Your trunk and operated leg should be in line at all times. Push down on the bed with your hands and stand up, drawing your operated leg back as you do so. Congratulations on completing all the exercises. You look great. After 8 to 10 weeks, you'll be able to drive a car, attempt sexual intercourse with care, do household chores and continue with your hobbies. Gardening, bowling, dancing, walking and swimming are all okay. Just make sure to avoid long periods of standing.